Hi, Chuck here with another quick tip for admins and developers on the ServiceNow platform. First, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this helpful so you don't miss any other cool, useful stuff our team publishes. Okay, here's one I learned a while back that I use from time to time when I make a stupid mistake. Let's say I've written a faulty script or have a really long running integration or something just isn't right with the instance and it's hung. Well, likely it's not really hung, it's just for me. You see, my user session is running a transaction and by default, each logged in user gets to run one transaction at a time. If my transaction is stuck, I can't do anything else until it's done. So I need a way to cancel that transaction. Let's take an example like this. Now, it doesn't take much to see that this is a bad script because it will never break out of the while loop. The condition is always true. Of course, you would never purposely do something like this, but it's likely that you'll run into a similar situation where the system keeps processing with no end in sight. Did you know there's a way to stop that long running transaction so you can get back to work? Sure. If you're running your script in the content window of UI 16 or next experience, you'll get that nice message at the top with the running counter and you can click the cancel button. But often I run scripts background in a separate browser tab and that nice message never appears. Here's how to cancel a transaction like our infinite loop when you don't have a cancel button. Open a new tab and point your browser to your instance name.servicenow.com slash cancel underscore my underscore transaction dot do or cancel under my under transactions dot do. Both work the same singular or plural. This sends a signal to the system to stop your currently running transaction. Now, important warning. This can be dangerous if you're doing something like installing a plugin that normally takes a very long time. You could find yourself with a half installed plugin. So try your best to recognize whether the issue is your fault or the system's fault. Cancel under my under transaction dot do is a handy thing to remember when your instance gets stuck. If you have an idea, tip, or trick that you've learned on the Now platform and you'd like to share it as a blog, video, social media, or whatever, go ahead and tag it with hashtag ServiceNowDYK to be part of the community. We'd love to see what you come up with. I'll be back soon with another ServiceNowDYK. Thanks for watching.